All right, folks, let's do one more from the, uh, well, now we're getting pretty close to Wind Gap. Um, we're still on one of the many rail beds out here that I believe encompassed the Lehigh and New England uh, car shops. It appears they had a bunch of lines that met up here in the Penn Argyle area. So if we were to continue back down, I actually did go down a little bit and then I looped back around. Uh, there is a scrap yard up ahead and it's all fenced off. Uh, we're not going to go down that way. But let's go down here. There's something interesting I found that may or may not be related to the railroad. There's a rail tie there. That's definitely railroad related. There's just so much going on in this area, and I have no frame of reference as to how it used to look. So I'm just kind of grasping at straws as we go along. But I do know that I have seen railroad ties everywhere in this area, so we're definitely in the right spot. come out to this open area here that I believe had a multitude of rails on it at one time. Again, that goes to Wind Gap. And this goes to Penn Argyle. So there's this big building back here. I don't know, I doubt it's related to the car shops, but then again, it could be, and maybe it's just been repurposed, but it looks fairly new. Um, there's a name of whatever industry is out in this area now. It's NAPA, not Napa, like the car part thing. I think it's Napa something else, Napa property reconstructions. I don't, I'll have to look it up on the map, but over here, I'm wondering if this has anything to do with the Lehigh New England. It's full of paint. All kinds of rusty drums of paint. I could smell it when I walked by. Now the building appears to be quite old, but it's got corrugated on it, and I don't know if Lehigh New England would have used corrugated or if this was built by somebody else. So it's got a, it's got a concrete pad. And as you can see, it's just filled with drums of paint. It smells like paint or acetone or who knows what it could be in, in here. Actually kind of smells like um, lacquer thinner, which I guess would make, I don't know what kind of paint would have been used on, on uh, in the rail industry. I would assume it's the same as automotive paint. I know that lacquer thinner is used in that. So this the steel work appears to be pretty old. So maybe maybe the frame was Lehigh New England and then the corrugated was put on at a later time by people who may have had this property. But this sign right here that's upside down says independent paper stock with Pennsylvania PA there, PA, independent paper stock. And then behind this says think safety. Through this window are more buildings down there, but I don't know if they're related to the Lehigh, New England. But this one's got some age to it, so I'm thinking possibly uh, at one point, maybe storage for the railroad. I don't know. What do you think? See you in the next one.